What do all these buildings have in common? They are all made of bricks, which act as building blocks. In the same way, living organisms like yourself are made up of building blocks called cells. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Somatic Cells. All living creatures are made of cells. In plants and animals, there are two major categories of cells, somatic cells and reproductive cells known as gametes. In humans and other animals, these gametes are the egg and the sperm cells. All other cells in the body are somatic cells. Think of every body part you have. They are all made up of somatic cells. The word somatic is derived from the Greek word soma, meaning body. In humans, somatic cells are diploid, meaning they contain two sets of chromosomes, and one inherited from each parent. Gametes, on the other hand, are haploid and contain only one set of chromosomes. Somatic cells come in a huge variety. There are over 200 types of somatic cells with different functions such as bone, muscle, and nerve cells. Somatic cell types have different structures and functions depending on where they are located in the body. For example, bone cells are mainly categorized into two groups, osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Osteoblasts are small cells that produce proteins that promote bone growth, and osteoclasts are larger and dissolve old bone structures. Muscle cells, they come in three different types, smooth, cardiac, and skeletal. Smooth muscles help with internal movement, like in your intestines, and they look different than cardiac muscles, which are found only in the heart and are responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. And then skeletal muscles look even different, and they're found attached to the bones and aid in body movement. Nerve cells, or neurons, they have a very distinct shape and are composed of axions, dendrites, and the soma. Nerve cells are found throughout your body and prominently in the brain and spinal cord, where they send and receive chemical and electrical signals to regulate various activities, such as body movement. So in summary, somatic cells are diploid cells, which means they have two sets of chromosomes, one inherited from each parent, and they come in a huge variety of shapes, sizes, and functions found throughout the body. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.